At the beginning of the shuttle program, it was John Young and Bob Crippen. That was one end of the bookend. You're the last shuttle crew to go up. Kind of bookend this for us and tell us, for people listening to this, how you want people to look back at the shuttle program. Well, uh, you know, the shuttle is uh, it, several milestones over the course of its, uh, of its 30 They have to... Um, they have to live it through the pictures and the images and the stories that the astronauts bring home. They don't get to see it and touch it and feel it like we do vehicles that go uh, up and down uh, like the space shuttle. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a sobering moment. It's, uh, uh, but at the same time, we're incredibly overjoyed to just have had the space shuttle for 30 years and uh, uh, to know that, uh, you know, we had this ability to go to low Earth orbit. And uh, we're so much more comfortable here than we were uh, just a short time ago. And we hope that that continues on to our, our commercial uh, space flight partners. And Chris, I'm so sorry to do this to you, but we lost your video downlink for the first uh, 30 seconds of that answer. So if you could just start that part again and just tell us when we look back at the 30 years of these. I thought it was you didn't like my question. But anyway, when we look back, when we look back at the 30 years of the space shuttle program, what do you want people to remember about the program? Well, yeah, we don't have the uh, fade to black switch up here. I wish we did sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, you know, of course, we have the International Space Station to, uh, uh, to look back upon. If it, weren't for the, uh, if it weren't for the space shuttle, the station wouldn't be here, and it certainly wouldn't be as large as it is. It's the, that large payload bay that's in the space shuttle that allows uh, the, the, the large diameter that you see around us. It allows us to sit five across in here. If it wasn't for the uh, space shuttle, we wouldn't be doing anything like that. Um, of course, there's also the tremendous observation observatories that the shuttle has launched throughout its years, Hubble Space Telescope, yeah. Compton Gamma Ray, the Chandra X-ray uh, Space Telescope. Uh, plus, uh, the space shuttle has really, uh, it's, it's, I don't want to say we have command of low Earth orbit, but we're so much more comfortable here, um, you know, living and working day in and day out. And we'll look back at uh, the space shuttle as a, a vehicle that just gave us regular access and, and it, it opened up low Earth orbit so that we can go beyond and we can learn how to live uh, in areas perhaps in lunar orbit or lunar surface or on an asteroid.